wale nikianza kukumbuka story ni zanza ta kulia by the way there's a time nilikuwa huko there was a certain man alinitusi matusi makubwa sikufurahia alinitusi matusi mingi sikufurahia lakini Mungu alambi wale mamangu hapo anaisikia yote anaisikia Yo, what's popping, beautiful people? It's your girl Trudy, the actress, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, karibu sana. And uh, remember, my slogan is, in his own perfect time, he makes everything beautiful. And guys, saizi, as you can see, ni around uh, 11.30 yapo, na nimeamua kuenda kwa tembeza kwa street. Leo, nataka kuenda kuona wale wasichana wanasimamanga pale kwa street, izi magidha. Nimeamua wazao lazima ni wazungushe. Ni wazungushe ni waoneshe nataka kupiga na wao story nione kama watakubali. I don't know kama watakubali but naomba nipate hata mmoja ambaye maybe tutapiga story na yetu jue the reason to why wanaendaga pale kwa street. Yeah because they have their own reasons that nime feel at least nikiweza kuwa reach out tuone itakuwaaje. Yeah so uh, wacha twende come with me guys come with me twende tuone vile kuko and then tajua ni 12 ara uh, 11 11 to 12 hivi na niko hizi side za nyama vila kayole nimekuja kuangalia hao mademo wanakuwa kwa, kwa street na nimeona star manage nataka nitume director wangu at least and approach mmoja wao ama wawili hivi aone kama watakubali tunaweza waongelesha then tutajua what next stay tuned guys to vile story ita flow Kwa sana. Ni ngapi? Ha? Ni ngapi unauzaje? Shots moja 200. Ndio nitaka usiku mzima sasa. Usiku mzima iwezi. Kwa nini? Ndio nafanya malizo hivi nipende nipangelee n
sasa simenda kwa hiyo pesa ngatengeleza hiyo usiku wote ana yeah. every shot na kuna wenye anangojea pia hao sasa kama shot moja ni ya mbili mimi nataka ni pesa moja tuende na haya hiyo itaweza sina fanana tu hapana bado ina fanana ama utaki elfu moja hao astaki elfu moja Sio masenye na stop on 1000 ningekuwa nishatengeneza mingi. Nimeongeza sasa basi nifike 2000. Hapana. Mimi si ritualist. Hapana. So umekata hiyo pesa yangu. Umekata hiyo. Aya naza enda mali na wewe ni kuongelesha kidogo. Ndio pia mimi hapa niko kazi. Okay, naelewa uko kazi na by the way mimi hata sitaki mwili wako. Then unataka nini? So ningetaka kusikia experience yako na unataka huko. So ni kwa na request nipe hata 10 minutes of your time. Ndio kana wewe. Kwa experience yenye uko kwa kipindi cha story. Ndio mimi siko hapa after your body ama mimi niko hapa kazi. Naelewa that's why nilikwambia unaona ile pesa ungetengeneza leo. Ndio mimi nataka ni nikupenda kunipa. Wewe nipe tu 10 minutes of your life na nikulipe. Sasa uniambie mimi nakupatia only minutes. Short moja minute moja. No mimi sitaki sitaki sex basi. Sawa mimi niko hapa for sex na ku request siwezi ku expose kama unataka na ndio kufunika sitaki ku expose uonekane lakini nataka unajua unajua hujakuja hapa kwa kupenda maybe kuna kitu nimekupush na fish ndio ningetaka wale wasiwapo huko nje na wana plan kuingia huko wapate kusikia ndio wasikuje kuingia huko tena that's why ni bwana ku request kama utanipa tu 10 minutes of your life Maybe that changes my life. Any trick? No, he is good. You can trust me on this one. Any trick? Any trick? Any massage to the delay? Go for teza. You get to shut up. I'll pay you for that. Papa, you get to shut up. Shut up. Moja, ngi ni akuje. Papa, na tabule pa siya. Trust me. Papa, no. Amo na baba. Sio gofi. Maybe tuende nikupe shot moja. Nirudi. Sio gofi anite. Sio gofi. Nile nakwambia niende nikupe shot moja nirudi. Hapana mimi sitaki for business but nitakunipa. I'll pay. Mhm. Ni nataka nataka tu 10 minutes of your life. Only pay tu kuna kwa story yako Siwezi ku expose sita ku expose mali nataka tu kuelimisha wasi wako huko nje Try Fasta mind So tunazana So unatoran by the way Ni jina ngo kweli Ni jina ngo kweli Mhm Okay basi si Naweza kufunika ndio tuende Jumi siku after sex. Haina shida. Sasa tena. guys do tuko hapa na Kate tumejaribu kumuongelesha na akakubali kutupatia time yake at least tumsikize na tusikize pia yeah so tunataka tuongee naye kidogo tusikie atuambie jani yake baka akajipata kwa street ilikuwaje na pia ajintroduce tumjue yeah Kate kwaje 
Unaweza introduce at least tukujue tujue umetokea wapi umelelewa wapi ukagroaje Okay mimi naitwa Kate nimeambiwa mimi nime grow nimezaliwa huko Uruma na nime pale Uruma bado but tukatoka huko kushi tukakuja huko Dunum mm-hmm. mm. over Sabin nika nikaingia darasa bado mm. sasa hizo ndo nilikuwa nimeanza hapa cheketia mm-hmm. sasa nikaenda kufika class eight nika drop mm. nikaacha hapo shule cuz kulikuwa na dark spot mingi sana mm. sasa so, unajua by then school fees ilikuwa rare kupata mm. nikaenda nikaacha hapo shule kidogo nika utajua my boyfriend yeah. nikapata boyfriend akanipiga bola akaniacha mm-hmm. uliku hapo okay goja kidogo labda tuambie ulikuwa how old your time ndo ukapata boyfriend akakupatia mimba ulikuwa how old by then i was 14 years 14 yeah wow then all of a sudden saw so unajua ningelea sasa ningefanya nini sasa nikabidi nimeachia mamangu mm-hmm. before dada pass mm-hmm. mama kanilelea lelea mm-hmm. sasa mimi nilikuwa nimetoroka mm-hmm. sasa kutoka nikaenda nikapatana na wasichana mm-hmm. wenzangu sasa mimi sikujua jani yao vile iko nikabidi mm-hmm. tu nimeenda nikawa follow up mm-hmm. sikukuwa najua kani makaba mm-hmm. sasa mimi niko na pia hiyo ndio mm-hmm. hapo ndo pia mimi na fit mm-hmm. jua alikuwa ananiambia vitu mob kusu vile wanapata do mm-hmm. sasa mimi na mimi nikawafuata mm-hmm. juu nikiangalia background nimetoka mm-hmm. ilikuwa very poor mm-hmm. hadi sikufurahia mm-hmm. background yangu ile kwa mbaya by the way mm-hmm. Yeah so uh, wale ma friends wako wakakwambia kazi wanafanya ni ile ya kujiuza right mm-hmm. uh, maybe before then how kwa it after kazi nyingine mahali labda ya kuinyeza kusaidia kupata pesa ama hai nilikuwa nafanya hizi kazi za ka nyumba mm-hmm. naenda na fuli ya mtu so nilikuwa naona hiyo pesa hata napata inisaidii mm-hmm. na hizi saidia familia mm-hmm. so, na mtoto na bidi mm-hmm. niende mm-hmm. Ni wafuate juu vile wanani explainia mm-hmm. na unenye hiyo kitu na ni drive vizuri mm-hmm. hapo ndo naweza pata pesa ya kulisha watoto wetu mm-hmm. na pia mtoto wangu mm-hmm. juu niliacho okay Okay so kajipata aje sasa hapo kwa street wingi sasa hapo kwa street place tumekupata leo. Okay ni mara hiyo place mnabadilishaga ama ni hiyo tu place kutoka uingia pale na imekuchukua muda gani kwa hapo? Okay mi mi hiyo ndio place yangu. Mm-hmm. Hiyo place ndio wananijua. Mm-hmm. Sasa unapata ni uko na shift. Naweza kujizi za mausiku. Mm-hmm. Tuseme kuanzia hapo 5 mm-hmm. na kaanga huko nika hiyo ndo kazi yangu. Mm-hmm. Hiyo ndo kazi yenye nilijipea. Okay. Na una una chajigi how much labda juu. Eh hey, tume, penye tumefika pale by the ticket tukaona ana anauliza story na pesa nini nini juu ndo kazi yake. Tuseme tumejaribu kwa approach kadhaa kama watano hivi but wakakata lakini with thank god Kate amekubali at least tukamtoa pale tukasema tutafute somewhere tuonge. So labda utuambie una chajigi how much. Unajua huko mm-hmm. tunakuanga tumejipanga line. Mm-hmm. Sasa pa short mimi na pia nanga na 200. Mm-hmm. So unajua hadi mtu akikupea shot moja mm-hmm. hadi warakishe mm-hmm. juu hadi urudi kwa line mm-hmm. ndio upate tena pesa nyingine ya short shot. Mm-hmm. Sasa mimi shot moja na charge 200 mm-hmm. tena narudi kwa line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey. No utseme pa night ama sumna shina ngapo the whole night mm-hmm. unaweza enda kwa nyumba na pesa kama ngapi? Tuseme kama nimeenda na watu ivi 15 mhm you see me 3 mhm yani get maybe nikuulize swali labda ni personal how do you feel guilty labda kwa hiyo kazi ukisimama pale kwa barabara huko unaenda unalala na umwa na ume unalala na umwa na ume how do you feel kama unaweza maybe if ka place uachane na hiyo hiyo story ama maybe ukipata tu something good yenye inaweza kutoa hapo unaweza unaweza toka nyenye ni kiwango huko sibambiki by the way mhm natoma ninge kuiacha mm-hmm. but no la nikiiacha hiyo ndo inalisha familia mm-hmm. hadi niendeleze mm-hmm. ndo tupate ya familia mm-hmm. na mimi mtu akitokea somewhere ya sahihi akwambie anataka kukusaidia labda kupatie pesa nyu unataka ama kupatie kazi kazi utoke pale are you ready ama unaweza taka pesa ngapi kuanza ndo uachane na hiyo kazi ya ya, ya kujiuza okay limit yangu na kanga 10 mm-hmm. 10,000 pekee. Ukipewa 2,000 unatoka hapo. 
utamsaidia by the way. Mhm. Okay, na watu pale nje pia wana judge sana actually watu wanaonanga au mademo wamesimama huko kwa street wakijiuza wanasema ah wasichana wamejiu wameji wanaji waste maybe wamejiachilia. Labda unaweza waambia nini wale watu wanawaja ju as for me mimi yenyewe after nime meet Kate nimesema I'll never I'll never judge them because kila mtu anakonga na story behind it now kate wewe ujume kwa pale and you have your own reasons to why uliingia pale ah watu wenye wanaja jingi wanasema tu wewe unajiuza unaweza waambia ni labda you just kwetu open uambie ni kwa nini wana mnakuaga pale ama kwa nini wasi like wasi wa judge okay in short kitu naweza ambia watu msui judge mtu si kila mtu toka kwa ground iko fit Unajua uwezi enda huko kama unajua ni mtuko superior. Sasa huko kila mtu anaendanga. Yaani tu juu unaangalia ile ground yako pale umetoka na vile umeishi. So uwezi niambia mtu kama ni tajiri sana anaweza amua ende ajuze vile si tunajuza hivi. By the way sisi tunajuza anga juu tunaangalia huko nyuma. Si ati hatuna akili. Ni ile tunataka ile ya kusaidia familia pia. Mm-hmm. Na marafiki zako labda ushaikwambia pia story story la ila yao kwa nini walijipata pale juu. Okay, kuna wengine maybe tu mtu nikupenda anapenda kuwa pale. Labda ushaika na wao mkashare wakakwambia the reason to why wako pale kwa street. Wengine ni pia pressure. Aha. Uh-huh. Wengine wanakuja tu bora wamekuja. Oh. Sasa unajua si wengine tunaendanga huko tukiangalia tu enyewe hii ya familia. Mm-hmm. Sisi tunaendanga tu kwa for one reason. Mm-hmm hadi tulishe familia. Mm-hmm. No obvious hadi adu, adu dress ndo kwe. Mm-hmm. Enyu kwe pia we smart. Mm-hmm. Uwezi angalia mtu mwenye yako huko. Mm-hmm. Ati ndo useme oh na tukakuaka fulani na fulani. Mm-hmm. Obvious si kila mtu admire. Mm-hmm. Hata si tu admire kukuwa hivi. Mm-hmm. But ina, ina, inafanya tukaa hivi mm-hmm. jutu ya hiyo. Pesa mm-hmm. peke yake. Mm-hmm. Yes. Na labda kitu siku moja ushaenda pale kwa street ukakosa kupata mwanaume wa kukwenda na wewe ukakarudi bila pesa. Ya yeah, kama isha wai happen uli ni nini ulifanya next? Hmm. Tulifanya. By the way kuna deni menda huko. Hmm. Nikasimama yani akuwa na na makastoma. Hmm. Makastoma wako kwa by the way. Mhm. Yes kuna ilikuwa tu. Yani tu I was kichwa ilikuwa ime, imeenda tu. Hmm. Ju wole kwa me plan hmm. vile mimi nilikuwa nimezoea. Obvious ni kendoko kila siku hadi mm. nitoke na 200 mm. hivi hata kama. Mm. Sasa mimi nilikuwa nimejeki usiku ai hata kama hii siku ndatoka hii. Nikakaa huko the old day na sikupata. Mm-hmm. Sasa family yangu tu ikatu hiyo ila lanja. Mm. But niliwaambia si give up. Mm. So you mean your family wanajua what you doing right now? Maybe your mom ama your siblings wanajua what Kit does. Okay kuna kuleta. vile unaweza ficha mzazi. Si tunamwambia ati mimi ni malaya, ati mimi mm-hmm. kaaba nini nini. Mm-hmm. Yetu wanajua tu enyewe siku unajua si unajua tunafika kwa street tuna change. Yeah. Tunaendanga tuna change. Mm-hmm. Tunatoka kwa nyumba. Oh so ukitoka kwa nyumba unatoka ukiwa decent but mm-hmm. ukifika street una change. Una change ndo niende nipate pesa. Oh, okay, hawa naume kumaanisha in short wanatakaga maybe muvae hivi venye. Actually mkiangalia, mtaona tu ke tax mama vile ameva. Wanapenda mkivaa hivi ndivyo labda mtu akupende. By this jawai ona mtu amevaa nguo refu ama amevaa trouser. Eh, mimi naonanga tu skirt fupi, ka short nini. Ama ni kwa nini mnavaa hivyo? Wanasimanga vile tunavaa hivi ndo tuko hatamu. Oh. Sasa hiyo ndo jaribu. Oh. Hmm. Wow. Hey Kate, labda so mimi nilikuwa nataka tukukuongelesha. Actually kukutoa huko kwa street nilikuwa nataka kukuongelesha ni kwambie I feel like you should stop uh, doing what you doing right now because me Una, okay unaweza fika situation like one life imefika somewhere imefika mwisho useme eh hey, maybe sasa this is the only thing naweza fanya but as for me nime feel uh, i think this is the right time naweza tu request kama unaweza kwa willing uachane na na hii hi kazi unafanya because wewe ni kama like sister yangu nikikuangalia na wana we, i don't know yani sija feel poa na si kila mtu amekubali actually hata ume kwa pale ukiona tukia approach approach kadha but at least uka kubali so me the reason to why nilisema tutafute place to kai tuongeni because i wanted to hear your story na pia nijue ni kwa nini uliamua kuingia pale na mi nataka tu ku request kama unaweza achana na hii kazi unafanya ya tuta, tutafanya juu chini hata kama utapata job au utapata mtu mwenye atakusaidia basi mambo na kujiuza unaonaje maoni yangu okay mimi nasemanga 
nikipata kazi vizuri mm. na yenye nilipa mzuri vile hii kwa habari na nilipa mm. naweza acha mm. naweza change by the way mm. lakini kai hiyo pesa iko mzuri kai uka haba na acha mm. lakini kai uko siwezi acha mm. ndendeleza unaona tuwe lakini okay mi mi kuna kitu kingine mimi huwa na believe um, si eti hata na kujaji na siwezi hata kujaji mimi nilifeel too i think this is the okay i've been having this feeling uh, every time mimi mimi hufanya content but the way ifanya content kama hii but one day niliyekuwa naambia god eh hey, siku moja nataka kwenda kufesi hao madem wana kuanga street at least nisikie saidi ya story yao mbona wanakuaga pale kwa street and uh, nikaongea pia na director wangu nikamwambia eh hey, director you have to do something because hawa wasichana wanakuwa huko kwa street lakini watu wa judge na ha, ama mimi sisi tunawajaji bana hatujuangi the reason to why nikasema ifa inaweza pata mmoja atupatie uh, the reason to why ju kila mtu ako na reasons zake to why anaenda pale kwa street but nikasema kama tu god anasikia kama nitapata mmoja mwenye atakubali kututolea story yake ju hata wewe hujasema tujificha uso atuficha uso umekuwa like umekuwa willing ku share story yako na iende ka inspire mtu pale nje mimi na ku request kit na mimi naomba tu kama kuna mtu pale ana watch nataka tu uambie uambie wale wana watch audience wangu juu ni kwa na audience from UK from Canada from different countries from Kenya so when wana watch maybe someone has a job na wewe already usha usha waambia washajua Kenya unafanya mtu akupatie job job yenye nalipa at least kwa utoke pale kwa street na siku moja wewe ni utakuwa testimony kwa mtu pale nje labda mwenye apitia the same situation kama yako yes i want you to talk to them okay ni kitu naweza ambia ni kitu tunaweza ati kama tunapata ile support kama mtu anaweza jitolea nisaidie kulea hii familia yetu wala inaweza ati ukaba but hata kani job Yes naweza fanya lakini kuwe na pesa iko wapi yenye naweza shikika hiyo naweza acha by the way hizi ndo kitu naweza advise na si ati sisi ni wali hatuna akili tuko na hizo akili but kitu ina to drive hapo ni do ya kulisha familia tunakaanga huko lakini tuko na akili <laughs> yeah. wow hey thanks okay mimi nashukuru sana kunipatia time yako guys nimekuwa na Kate na kita mekwa by the way hujatuambia umekwa kwa hiyo street for how long sasa tangu nipate mtoto mhm ukiwa ulisema ulipata mtu hiyo ukiwa closet closet kwa sasa sasa hiyo ndo nimemaliza maliza mhm sasa nikapata mtoto mhm sasa nikaacha aka grow grow 6 month ndo nikaanza kuingia street mhm au so umekaa ka street for a while Yeah but uh, I think uh, time yako tu ya kutoka street imefika may believe hautakosa mtu wa kukusaidia pale nje hata kama utapata job utapata nini but thank you so much for your time kila mtu ukubali kushare hiyo story na wewe hata mwenye umeona pale tukibishana na wengine hadi karibu tupigwe mawe guys karibu tupigwe mawe by the way juu ya kujaribu ku, kuongelesha juu tuliona eh Mbona tusiende tusikie story yao si raisi acha msifikirie mbona hapa kitu nafikiria hata kitu hata kitu ijakuwa raisi by day kumo approach hata yeye ametuzungusha zungusha akakuwa mkali but we thank god uh, finally amekubali na tukamuliza kama tunaweza hide identity yake akasema no she is ready to share her story if at all it can it inspire mtu pale nje club tuambie maneno yako ya mwisho kwa wale wana watch your last message okay my last message ni kuwa kama unatoka ground city ka huko hii ukaba tunafanya ni tricky juu uniambie upigwe na baridi utafute mtu ni vigumu sana so pale huko hii kazi si rahisi ndio nafikiria hii kazi tunajikaza wow thanks and uh oh, tuna hope bado tutarudisha kete kwa kwa channel muone venye atakuwa ame, kama ameamua kutoka street bado tutamrudisha yes na tunaenda kuwaletea more stories from outside make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell see you in the next video